Welcome to an example on how to write a differential equation that models logistic growth. A new cell phone is introduced into the market. It is predicted that the sales will grow logistically. The manufacturer estimates that they will sell a maximum of 100,000 cell phones. After 49,000 cell phones have been sold, sales are increasing by 9,000 phones per month. Find the differential equation describing the cell phone sales where y of t is the number of cell phones in thousands sold after t months. So because we have logistic growth, we can write the differential equation in this form here, where the form is dp dt equals r times p times the quantity one minus p divided by k. Notice this is dp dt, and we have dy dt. So to avoid any confusion, let's replace the p's with y's. Our differential equation will be in the form dy dt equals r times y times the quantity one minus y divided by k. Where in this differential equation y is the number of thousands of cell phones sold, k is the carrying capacity, which in our case would be the maximum number of cell phones that will be sold, and R is the intrinsic growth rate, which is the growth rate minus any constraints. So going back up to the given information, notice how the maximum number of cell phones sold is estimated to be 100,000 cell phones. And again, because Y of T is the number of cell phones in thousands, this tells us K, the carrying capacity, equals 100. So if we can find R, the intrinsic growth rate, we can write the differential equation that models this growth. And we can find R using the information from the sentence here. We're told after 49,000 cell phones have been sold, the sales are increasing by 9,000 phones per month. So this tells us that when Y equals 49, representing 49,000 cell phones, dy dt, the rate at which the sales are changing, equals nine, to represent an increasing rate of 9,000 phones per month. So now we can substitute y, dy dt, and k into this differential equation, solve for r, and then write the differential equation to model the logistic growth. So performing the substitution, we would have nine for dy dt equals r times y would be r times 49 or 49r, 49 times the quantity one minus y divided by k would be 49 divided by 100. So let's divide both sides by 49. That would give us nine over 49 equals, well one minus 49 hundredths is 51 hundredths. So we have 51 hundredths r. So to solve for r, we would multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 51 hundredths which would be 100 over 51. So multiply the left side by 100 over 51, and the same to the right. Notice on the right side, this just simplifies to one R R. On the left side, Nine and 51 share a common factor of three. There are three threes in nine and 17 threes in 51. So 100 times three is 300. And 17 times 49 is equal to 833. So now we know K is 100 and R is equal to 300 divided by 833. We can now write the differential equation dy dt. dy dt is equal to R, which is 300 divided by 833 times Y times the quantity one minus Y divided by K, where we know K is 100. So this differential equation models the logistic growth of the cell phone sales in this situation. And this is actually called an autonomous differential equation because we have dy dt equal to a function of Y and T, the independent variable, only appears in the derivative. I hope you found this helpful.